That was a busy afternoon in this area with tra traffic backups and delays. As you can see, uh, they are actually working on a gate right here. This fencing is up that wasn't up earlier in the day to kind of protect this vacant property as the structure fire occurred just before 3 p.m. today. Plumes of smoke billowing from the central part of the valley Saturday afternoon as the old Kmart building located off Sahara and McLeod went up in flames just before 3 o'clock. Clark County Fire Department, along with Las Vegas Fire and Rescue, arrived on scene to the three alarm fire that received a high level response due to the size of the blaze and its location in the attic part of the building. When they realized it was, it was bigger than what we expected, so they called a second alarm and then a third alarm, which brought us a total of 76 people. Uh, to include 12 engine companies, four ladder trucks, four battalion chiefs, two air resources, and three rescues. Residents nearby recall what they saw and say just because the building is vacant doesn't mean there isn't a fair share of people hanging around it from time to time. I didn't realize what was going on until I looked over across the street and it was like 30 feet high flames. I've been living here for about six years and then people go in and out of this building. So, I mean, who knows? CCFD sharing with 8 News Now that Saturday's wet weather made for a much easier time putting out the flames, but the lack of water from nearby hydrants posed a challenge for those on scene. We had to hook up to some of the yellow hydrants um, to get our, our water supplies. Uh, not sure why they, there were some, um, we call them like dead hydrants. Not sure why they were, but they were. So we just had to just lay a little bit more hose tonight. And there was no injuries, uh, civilian or firefighters. No additional properties or residences were damaged as a result of the nearby flames. But there was a partial collapse of the building's roof. And the building is considered unstable at this time. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. The deputy fire chief sharing with me that they plan on being out here past midnight tonight, tending to all the hot spots as they expect hot spots and flare ups to continue throughout this week. Reporting live, Madison Kimbrough, 8 News Now.